Mattek. Not often we get blown away by machines, but I've got to tell you, what I see here behind us from Mattek is pretty impressive. Uh, you are now the agents for these machines in the UK, correct? Yeah, we have been for several years, actually, but we're sort of resurrecting the, the range again. There's a lot of new models which we think are going to be very interesting to the UK it, market. Is this one of the biggest that they do? As far as the travelling column models go, this is the biggest one, uh, with a 1350 Y travel. Comes in many configurations. You can have it with a built-in rotary table. Uh, obviously, a tool change of up to 10, 15, 20 meters in X travel. I noticed that built-in table there. That is about 1,350 millimeters in diameter. That's a pretty sizable uh, table, isn't it? Yeah, it's very um, sizable, and it can be used for turning as well. It's got the turning option uh, with about a four-ton loading capacity. Wow. Okay. Um, that head as well. Tell us about that universal head. It looks like it can get to all kinds of angles. Yeah, very flexible, fully universal, uh, with some very powerful drivers. On, on the coupling of the head, you've got a full CNC drive with an 8,000 newton meter uh, facility on there, so it's got some real power there. I, I noticed you've got a 50, a 50 kilowatt spindle as well. It's an HSK100. Where's the market then for this type of machine for you, Eric? I know you will sell smaller models than this, but you know, would there be a market in the UK for a machine of this size, do you think? I think so. I mean, we've got some inquiries that we're looking at at the moment for heavy uh, parts that are really uh, fabrications or just generally heavy parts that need that sort of um, power. Because to me it's about serious chip removal. When I, when I hear that sort of power, HSK100, um, the size of the machine, you can imagine you'd be removing some pretty heavy cubic metres of swarf, wouldn't you? Yeah, I've seen a machine in the factory actually doing test parts and it is, it's quite incredible when you see it cutting. And when it comes to uh, the Dugard, your business, where does this fit in amongst your portfolio? Because you've got a really good spread of machines. Does it fit quite nicely? Have you got nothing at the moment like this? Not to that, not to this size really, but also of course we're very interested in the smaller range of travelling column machines they do, which start really at about two metre and can be used for pendulum milling and that sort of thing. Uh, they go up to six, seven, eight metre on that, that range. And when you say pendulum milling, really for the, our viewers that don't know, that's where you've got the partition in the middle, you're loading one side while the other side's machining. That's a, an element of automation, isn't it, keeping that spindle going? Exactly. It can be used as a twin pallet, really, without having all the moving parts of the twin pallet and the problems that that causes. Uh, of course, you can remove it and use it as one big table, which is, again, gives people flexibility on larger parts. Uh, let's finally just touch on Matek as a, as a brand and a, a build. How well established are they around the world? It's a name that's been going for some time, isn't it? Are they known for producing quality machine tools? Yeah, I think definitely with their pedigree, you know, German background and the quality of the parts. I mean, they've been uh, going probably as a company for 30 or 40 years. Uh, they're very famous in, in Germany, uh, but they've done a lot of business in Asia as well, in China and so on. So um, we're hoping to do something with them in the UK. Good stuff. And the, uh, the markets, this aerospace, general subcontractor, is there anything that you'd specifically be aiming at? I think those two probably much sum up where we're going to be heading with it. It is the aerospace market that's very active at the moment, and they've got the, the speeds and the powers that people are looking for in that market. Certainly looks like it will do the job. Thanks, yeah, Eric. I hope so. Thank you very much.